Hello everyone and welcome back for some more bromance here in Stellaris. I'm Mel, I'm once again joined by my buddy, the infamous, the illustrious, the green glowy <laughs> Captain Sabouts. Hey Capitan. Hello. How are you, man? So so rumor has it we're gonna go try to take these guys on, the uh I think so. Autocracy. Yeah. yeah. We'll go ahead and position our fleets uh wherever's best. I think uh What's going to be the best approach? Nice their capital, high losers, you think? Yeah, I think so, because their capital is closer that way, so we can head straight for their capital. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to put a fleet on Why Do You Hate, and I'm going to focus on just defending from that point. Okay, well, I have ground troops, a big, a big one, headed up there then. Okay, perfect. Oh, why, uh, that's my Titan fleet up there. Do I want them defending? Not really. Uh, yeah, I'll have them defend. They're slow anyways. Well, Titans, the station's are, gonna Titans, be beefy. Titans are actually pretty good if you put them on the other end of the system, like far away yeah. from the station. And, and they the do station, some sniping. Yeah, because the station can tank while they're firing from across the system. And then if there's any remnants left, they've got to go all the way across the system towards the Titans while getting shot at the whole time. Yeah, that's a good yeah, good point. I've had that save me a couple times. Okay. 40 armies are in route to singularity okay, right now, and you've already got the other fleets. And then like we were talking about in between episodes, I'm going to use my third fleet that I'm still building up. I'm going to use that to go attack these guys that I have claims on that are their subjects, the Galarian organism or whatever. Research okay. Included. I think that'll work. Interstellar assembly restored. Cool. I don't know what that does, but that's neat. If you click on a Mega Wonder, it tells you its bonuses. The official, unofficial, political... <laughs> the official, unofficial political right. form of the galactic community. Uh, it doesn't tell me what the bonuses are. Really? Yeah. Doesn't it's... say it has any bonuses as far as I can tell. Oh, you've only I'm built... Not... You've only... Did you did you restore one that was there? I rebuilt there? it. Yeah. Oh, you rebuilt it. Uh... So I'm assuming I get... Ah, yes. Interstellar Assembly gives me plus 50 opinion with everybody. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. It's plus 50 opinion with everybody, and it only costs me 40 energy credits to run. So it's cheap. Well, so, it depends on how cool you are. It's it's not cheap as far as I'm concerned, because I'm always broke. But <laughs> I can see from your point of view, Mr. Moneybags, how that would work out just <laughs> fine for you. It seems, you know, I mean, for the most part, I will say in the late game, by that point, everybody's pretty, like, set on how they feel about you, but... Still yeah, kind of cool. The, the way that the way I could see that coming into play, though, is if you had sort of pretty good relations with people and you were trying to secure like like towards the mid game, you're trying to secure those really critical relationship building agreements like research and what have you. And that could put you over the mark where you could get some of those agreements with it, which then increases your your overall opinion with them even more. Right. So it could kind of snowball. Yeah. It's kind of like when you finish the tree, when you finish the diplomacy tree, you get plus 50 trust cap with everybody. Yep. Um, I've had it where I've done that and still just a little bit of ways and I can't get them. So if you built that thing, you could like push it over. Yeah. I can see it being useful if, if especially if you were the only one that had your kind of ethos and, and uh, government type. Like sometimes you spawn into a game, it's random. So you might have like a bunch of people that are like crazy fanatic, you know, militarists and you're, uh, you know, you're like peace guy. Like, oh no, I don't want to fight. Yep. Yeah. You know? Be handy for that. I guess I'll start setting some claims up. Yeah, if we're going to go to war, let's make it worth it. Guys are going to go down. Going Ooh. down. Going downtown. Almost got my machine empire, or my machine capital set up, too. Going downtown in an earlier round. 
I should have really go on down swinging. You got your number one with a bullet. God. A guy complex cause cock it and pull it. <laughs> Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. Hey, I'm Colossal Project in 34 months, and I started the, uh, I went ahead and started the, uh, the Century Array, whatever it is. Strategic oh, Coordinating. Oh, no, the strategic, strategic coordination, coordination center is for um, naval capacity. Naval capacity, yeah. Because I've almost maxed and, off, and offensive bonuses. I've got 280 mm -hmm. navy cap total, but I have like four or five stations that are nothing but anchorages to get to that. Okay. Like just a redonkulous number of anchorages. Well, I think that uh, Why Do You Hate Me is going to be a pretty... Defensible system now. It's got 20k alone in just um, defenses. Oh, okay, sweet. And station power. And then nice try, losers has 13k, but that's where our fleets are too. So yeah, 19.8. And you've got the Titan fleet in there, and then you've got the Titan sitting. Yeah, it should be fine. That's a lot of firepower. Yeah, I don't have any Titans in that fleet yet, though. They're still being built, but when they are, it'll be a good. It'll be a good. It'll spot. be defensible, I think. I think they're going to be so focused on trying to go after our fleets once we start punching towards their capital. That's what I'm hoping that their eyes are going to turn to us, and therefore they're going to ignore some of the other. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm hopeful that's exactly what happens. So do I want the world cracker or the neutron sweep? Well, the world cracker is cool looking. It is. Ah, the neutron sweep seems neat though too, because then I can wipe planets and take them over for myself. That that's the one I would do. That's the one I do because I I, uh, yeah. I want the stuff. I mean, you get yeah. resources and stuff from cracking a planet. Don't get me wrong, but then you don't get the actual planet, obviously, because you know you've blown it to smithereens. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the neutron sweep. My thinking is I can wipe out things like um, Gaia worlds and stuff like that that the enemy might have. Oh, you're just mean. You're just mean. I like it. I like <laughs> it. Just a mean bastard. Hmm. Processing. That's the problem. Don't and have then, population. boy, this holy, this holy empire or um, fallen empire has three ring worlds. Jeez. Okay. So if we fight them, <sighs> yeah, we fight them eventually. We're gonna be able to take three ring worlds out of it, maybe. Which one are you? Which one is this? Is this the the Mictor continuance? But we might not, because they are a. Uh, they are ancient caretakers, so they should awaken when the endgame crisis fires. Yeah, and I've, like, agreed to whatever they've given, you know, like, I've taken their crappy stuff. Uh, I, ha I have, too. So, like, we, at least you and I have decent, decent relationship for when they switch over, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Can I sell anything? No, I actually need to buy more. Okay. Damn it. Damn it! Perfect. And I've got one drone I gotta re. That'll. Perfect. All right. My fleets are in position. Let me check and make sure this is good. Um, all right, I've built everything I can here. I'll probably throw some more defensive. Actually, I'm going to upgrade this to a citadel. You want to do, do that before then? I think so, yeah, because then it'll be it'll be super tanky. The other one I'm not as concerned about because that's where we're going to be attacking from. Um, I'll just keep throwing a few defensive platforms on it. Copy. I understand. Makes sense. You should see my monthly trade thing. It's just redonkulous. I'm like, sell, sell, buy, 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 sell, buy, sell. Like, just trying to balance really? things out. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Every month doing that. What's it take to build the Colossal Project? 
usually? Uh, it's it's not that cheap. It's like Research. I don't know, like ten thousand or something. Ten thousand. I think. If I remember right. Okay. Ten thousand minerals or alloys? alloys. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Makes sense. It got all quiet because we're all thinking hard. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, wait, what can I? What should I build now? What can I build? Okay, so that's the mar I got the market fee reduced, so that's nice. That'll save me some money. The market leader is Vanguard. What the heck, Vanguard? I know. I saw that. I'm like, you scumbag. He doesn't even need to be here. I know, right? Be dominating. Construction project. The guy just dominates for the fun of it. Well. I mean, he is that cool. Let's just face it. <laughs> it's okay. Got to learn to live with it. It's okay to admit it. It's okay to admit it. Okay, so that fleet. Oh man. Okay, so I still haven't built. Um, I still haven't built my battleships in my uh oh longbow fleet. I saw it. No. Mm hmm. Uh, so she it was just association status though. No, no, they got the invitation. They did? They got it they, yeah, they got it right after. Oh no. Well, does it matter? Honestly. Like, does it really matter? I mean we Can we fight the Sabak and them at the same time? I mean, I think so, yes. I I, I think so, yes. Because we weakened the Sabak quite a bit. Yeah, and we've got uh, the spider guys can probably hold them back. They're they're pretty tough still. Yeah, I th I think I think we're okay. So if the spider guys hold them back, and we know Vanguard, the bird guys, and the uh, little Orberius consortium can hold back the plant guys. Mm-hmm. Well, they're inferior oh. now. The citizen compact of Vateria or whatever. The guys that we were so concerned about. Oh, look at you! Suddenly a contender. <laughs> completes the Colossus. For, that's right. I know that guy. So I'm important by association, because he's my pal. That's my boy. That's my boy, Blue. You're my boy. Let's see. Can I sell anything else? I'm like over here, like, selling my firstborn or whatever. Have you ever oh, used that, 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 uh, what's it called? Um... Zero or whatever the ZRO. Have you ever used that stuff? What and is if, it? And if so, oh. for what? It's supposed to enhance like your psychic, your psychic abilities or whatever. What? Yeah, no. I've never once used that for anything. I've also never used dark matter for anything. There, it, you can use it for something, right? I sell it. <laughs> That's all I do with it. I I just sell it. I, I they need to put more stuff in the game Ooh. that uses that stuff. Yeah. Nah, maybe they. That's what they plan on doing eventually. They just added it now and. Yeah, because all a lot of that's good for is just selling. That's it. As far as I can tell. Which doesn't, which honestly doesn't make it worth fighting over. Like strategic resources, in my opinion, should be so, so important, particularly in the early game that you're like, hey, I, I'm kind of friendly with this guy, but he's got that dark matter and I can use it for such and such. So I'm just going to have to kill him and take. It. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you should, if, it should be, it should be compelling. Yes. Ooh, there we go. Synthon has been terraformed into a machine world. Oh, okay. very cool. Okay, now. Excited to see what it does. I also think, just like you said, and there are mods that do this, you should be able to just like pay a certain amount to recruit the kind of leader that you want without having to just over and over again cycle. It's, yeah, it's just have such it be a random. Such a silly, really just kind of a silly thing. Yeah, I would agree. All right, actually unlocked more districts, which is cool. I'll go ahead and get another mining district and that should handle my unemployment. Cause that's two. That's plus two mining jobs. Nice. So my machine world is my capital is complete. Well, I've got on my uh, relic world, I've got nine mining districts, and I'm building the mineral mineral purification plant right now. 
So I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah. Come oh. to me, minerals. Come to me. Oh. You don't even More know what I'm going to do. You don't even know what I'm capable of once you give me the minerals. All right. And these guys next to me, they may not realize it, but they're going down, down. Down, down, baby. They're going down, down in an earlier round. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess uh, we could start the war. I think we're ready. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess I am. I'm going to move my Titan fleet back. No Titans in it yet, but soon. Very soon. And if we're going to war with the Sabak too, then I better build this station up and upgrade it to a Citadel. But the other station is Citadel status. It's got 32k firepower. I don't think they're cracking it anytime soon. Ooh, that's pretty hot. That is pretty hot. I've got, uh, let's see, what's my best? My best one's got 35k. It's my biggest, uh, my biggest one here. And, uh... Nice. I haven't put any defensive platforms on it. Maybe I should. Oh, I don't have a Titan assembly yard. That would be why I don't have Titans. We'll get there eventually. Uh, jump charge time minus 20%. Jump cooldown combat disengagement. I'm going to do the disruption field. Or communication jammer. Disruption field generator I'm going to go for. All right, uh, mega structure built. Nice. I just need to upgrade it now. Global pacifier. Got to have that. No, wait. That's not the one I want, right? If you want to take over the worlds or whatever. Okay, yeah, that's what I want then. Global pacifier. I thought I want the one that, the, that gets rid of all matter. That's the, what is it, the neutron one? Yeah, so I don't want the global pacifier. You could do that one too, though. Same effect, yeah. Oh, okay. Right? Pretty, okay. I think, yeah. The, the think global pacifier, just... doesn't that eventually make them, like, your guys? I You're like, think so. And the, the, the difference being that you get the people too, but it takes longer, and the neutron mm -hmm. one is, like, you just melt all the organic life, which, personally, <sighs> I think is cooler. That's the one I want. Yeah, I'm going to look for that one. I mean, you're a machine. You're not looking to add I don't, these fleshy I don't want... things to your yeah, empire. They're, they're slimy. And yeah. There's nothing, there's nothing really good about them. Bastards. Yeah, it's just slimy, present, nasty Present things. company accepted, however, right? Capital station. So I'll go to the capital station, and that's where I'll do my Titan Colossal Assembly Yards. So I need to upgrade this a lot more. If I build multiple shipyards, do I get better? It builds more ships? Shipyard yeah, capacity? Sure yeah. does. It sure does. Ugly, and plant, then the star ugly base. plant guy is like threatening me and stuff. I'm like, dude, what are you? Um, the hangar bay gives ships within range. Like, ship haul points, armor hit points, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. We'll start getting that going. All right, what do you think? You ready for war? I'm... yeah, I mean... yeah, I'm pretty close to being ready. Might as well go ahead and go. All right. I think I can take this guy with what I've got down here. I was just waiting for my battleships, but I can do without, I think. I uh, don't think. Let's see. No, these are good.
All right, I'm going to prepare the war. Okay. Go ahead and vote yes. yes. Look at that, even our allies are ready to go. Good. They've got claims on stuff pending too, right? So they want to go to war. Yeah, there's stuff that they want as well. I don't blame right. them. If you need me to do manual control on my ships or something, just let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to be okay. focused on the western front over here. All right, I'm going to wait um, at this system just to see if they send anything here. Because I'd rather I'd rather fight their fleet uh, next to the defense station and have the defense station tank it than uh, fight them on their terms. Or right. I'll let them throw their fleets at us for a bit, and we'll crush their fleets, and then oh, we'll, uh, you just want to keep the door. To move in. You want to just keep the door closed until they Hostile. let them crash against us, and then yeah, go in. yeah, that makes sense. And then burn themselves out. The um, Sabak is in this as well, so we'll see what they end up doing. It looks like they're going to focus on the spider guys, which is fine by us. Ooh, man. Yeah, they uh, they had a lot more firepower than I thought down here. 70-something 70, 70 K. <gasps> oh, do you have the fleet to handle oh, it? Oh, uh-uh. I don't. I do not. Oh, you've got the egg... egg, um, egg Magmatic catch or whatever. In that system. It's not gonna fight though. No. Um, well if you gotta pull your fleets, you can do it. Um wow. you've got eighteen two yikes. Yeah, you've got a, you got a pretty good sized fleet there. Um yeah, do you have to pull your fleets? Or do I don't you have a place you could defend uh, from. I don't think it's going to make any difference, really. Not, not really. Not going to make okay. much of a difference. Then we'll just uh, push on them and try and win the war fast. Yeah, I. Yeah, it's just it is what it is. Um, maybe just stay on your home system then. I'm going to stay on Eunuch or whatever right now. Oh, they're coming in on me. Okay. I might be able to win this fight because our buddies came down to help. Yeah, st yeah, stick with them if they're down there. You should have allies. I um, think I'm gonna hold. It's a good thing I built this separate uh, deal here, huh? Okay, perfect. So the at um, the spider guys are actually moving in on their systems up north. Yeah, they're down here helping me too. Twenty good. twenty-eight thousand fleet came in. Okay. And you gotta remember, we're fighting this whole entire federation, so the plant people over there are at yeah, war the too with the bird people. Yeah, the best way to do it people. is make sure you click Union's map mode, because it'll show you everybody we're up against if you click Union's. I like that. Yep. So you do Empire map mode, and then next to it, click Union's, and you'll see. Oh, like, so it's literally just a gigantic civil war. Yeah, it's us against... Yeah, exactly. It's, it's boiled down to us They're against not civil them. war, but a um, giant, like, uh, galactic war, because it's literally everybody's at war. Right. It's all of our federation versus all of their federation. Oh, that was nice. Our buddy AI just like left as I was being attacked. I'm like, uh, all oh, these people have association status with us. They never, they never actually joined our federation. Who didn't? The laborious consortium. Yeah, no, they didn't. They didn't ever join. Oh, we'll need to see if we can get them in after the war. If we're still alive. If we're still alive, yeah. I held them. They took one of my planets, they took a couple of systems, but I held them. Really? Holy shush. Jeez. That was crazy times, I'm telling you. It's getting pretty brutal already, I can see that. Oh boy, they're getting ready to move in on me. So I guess it is the global pacifier. Oh, uh, they moved into Ginnum. Okay, so the Sabak fleet's moving up, but they can't get past Nice Try Losers, so... Oh, man, I got another 24,000 headed in, but... Spider Dudes came in to help me. Nice. Spider Dudes are here with 22,000. Thank you, Spider Dudes. Ain't that awesome? And... My station's repaired. It's back up to 36,000. 
Yeah, bring it. Where are these guys going? There's no way they can go. <gasps> no. Don't don't say that like that. What did what was no. that? No. They they did it. They somehow got behind. Um, they the Machine Empire let them through. No. What? Yeah. Seriously? Oh, no. Yeah, they may let them through. So they're actually coming right through here. Okay, I got an idea. I mean, I don't have an idea, but... Um, yeah, they're just going to run rampant there. Uh, I'm going to send a fleet back to go try to catch them. Uh, probably just one fleet. They only, they're only sending... Small fleets, they don't have anything crazy. I'm screwing with this guy now on the planet he keeps trying to take. I'm building a stronghold. <laughs> I'm like, if you want it, you're paying the iron price. Uh, they're going to head towards my capital, so I'm going to try to beat them there. All right, I'm going to come over and take a look at what's going on over here. Actually, let's pause it. Let's pause it, because we're over time anyway. All right, so... This is crazy. This is cool. It's crazy. Uh, okay, so we're at... Nice try, losers, and we've stayed there. Meanwhile, these guys were sneaky bastards, went around through Alpha the Fallen Empire Refuge, right? Yeah, and they're coming around the other way. Now they haven't come through yet. You're saying they're on their way? Nope, they're through. See the systems they've captured? Oh, I see. Ten thousand fleets. Oh, and they did it with small fleets too. Yeah, so I'm gonna send one fleet back to catch them. Okay. What? Meanwhile, the rest of us are gonna hang out at Nice Try Losers. Yeah, yeah, because the Sabak are coming up after us next. And then over Yeah, they're on, taking my systems to the south. Over on the fight that I'm doing, we've destroyed about 55,000 so far worth of military power. Um, And I now hold... In, they can't get through, at least not with what they have over here. They've got 10,000, 16,000... So you managed to hold a Nuck there. Well, if they gather everything up, they've got 40,000, so they could come up and they could try. I think Anuk can hold itself. I need more defensive platforms. Yeah, and the spider people here are putting pressure on them to the north. So they've also got, you know, they've also got to defend their own borders. They've got so much, though. I'm like, I'm surprised at how much... Oh, it's because they're getting help from everybody else. It's not just yeah. those guys. It's the enlightened... Yeah... Meanwhile, the plant people are losing to Vanguard and the bird people. Well, I wish they would finish him off good. and come help us, you know? I know. Sweet, though. This is a real big war. This is cool. This yeah. is going to be interesting. This might be one of the biggest wars we've ever been in. And here's the other thing. What if what if the endgame crisis, like, hits while this war's going no. on? That would be insane! You shut your mouth. Don't even <laughs> say something like that. Hey, it'd be fine if it was in, like, the autocracy's backyard. I know. Be like, but the oh. chances of it landing in our I mean, one of our people's backyard. It always backyard. happens to us, though. I think one I time, I think one time in all the games we've played that, that it, it dropped in our favor. One time. Yeah. Usually so. it always lands. Actually, usually it always lands on Vanguard. Yeah, <laughs> it does. It's like, it's like been the experience. So, uh, well, that actually makes sense, though, because doesn't the crisis usually fire in the strongest person's territory? It does, usually and it's have usually, a higher chance yeah, of. And, it's, and it usually is Vanguard that does it. And I so. think right now, if you look at the situation log victory, uh, actually, it's not Vanguard for once. It's our enemies, the autocracy. They're number one right now? Yep, they are number one right now. Let me take a look at that. Vanguard's number two, though. And then the Fallen, and then you, and then Spider Dudes, and then me. And you we're, and Spider Dudes are neck and neck, like 20 actually, points apart. We're actually doing fairly well overall, though, based on the scores. Yep. Of course, Vanguard got that huge boost by becoming an AI, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah. I don't know if people oh. really understand that, but they, they quite literally have double every resource that we have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> On Grand Admiral, they have double. That's kind of cray-cray. Oh, crazy that we're holding out. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. We certainly are. Uh, please consider hitting that thumbs up if you did. Uh, for myself and Sabouts, we will see you later. Bye. Bye, everybody.